Would you consider yourself a success or a failure? Your answer to that question is one of the most important things that will determine not only how you live your life, but how long you will live. Because success and failure shape us more powerfully than anything else, more powerfully than genetics, more powerfully than drugs. And so this book, The Winner Effect, is about what determines whether we are successful or whether we are failures. One key principle, which is the title of the book, is called The Winner Effect. The Winner Effect is something that happens across all species, humans and animals. What it means is, if you win a contest, it doesn't matter what kind of contest, it could be a chess match, against someone who's not very good, the mere act of winning will make it more likely that you will win a big, difficult contest the next time. Now, that is the most remarkable finding in human neuroscience. Yet, until this book came along, it really wasn't properly known, except in a small number of scientific circles. Methods you can use to make yourself more successful. The first is be successful. That sounds silly, but the research shows that if you win you'll be more likely to win in the future. And this is because winning raises testosterone, which increases the chemical messenger dopamine in your brain, and it makes you smarter and more bold. So contrive small successes to get big successes. Another tip is to fake it till you make it. Men and women adopting a power pose, the kind of pose a CEO adopts around the board table, for instance, if you adopt a power pose, it increases testosterone and that increases the chemical messenger dopamine and that makes you feel better, makes you feel more confident because of changed brain chemistry. These are examples of how you can understand success and failure and more importantly, how you can apply these principles to your own life and they're outlined in my book, The Winner Effect.